Tonight, parents with students at Arroyo Grande High School are upset by the way they say the school handled two suspicious social media posts. KSBY News reporter Alexa Bertola joins us live from the high school with details. Alexa? Scott and Karina, one of these incidents resulted in the arrest of a 14-year-old. Now, I spoke with several parents on the phone today who say they're upset over the way they found out about things. It's finals week for Arroyo Grande High School, but student safety is on the top of parents' minds. This was really vague, and anyone who is aware of what goes on in social media with kids in schools, uh, we didn't get much information. Police say a 14-year-old boy was arrested after posting a picture of himself on social media with a firearm while driving a stolen car near the high school. Police spotted the car nearby in a chase ensued. At one point, they say the driver threw a BB gun out the window. The chase was called off due to unsafe speeds, but Monday night the car was spotted again and the boy was inside. He was arrested. More than a handful of parents I spoke with were not willing to go on camera in fear, but did say they were not notified about the incident quickly enough. The social media post was made in the morning, but parents say they didn't receive an email from the school until later in the afternoon. We didn't get much information, so that made me more anxious. Tuesday morning, parents got another email about a juvenile from out of the area whose social media posts regarding AGHS were investigated and determined not to be a threat. The school district said it is committed to student safety and it remains their top priority. Still, dozens of parents took to social media blasting the school for not keeping them in the loop. This is just so unusual, so I'm, I'm uh, a little uh, apprehensive about the next time if it happens again. I probably will take my kid out of school. And the school district said on Tuesday afternoon that neither incident posed a threat to students or staff, so a lockdown did not happen. Now, I reached out to the school district as well as the police department for interviews, but those requests were denied. For now, live and local in Arroyo Grande, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. All right, Alexa, thank you. The name of the former Arroyo Grande High School student who was arrested will not be released because of his age. He was booked pending charges of felony possession of a stolen vehicle and felony evading a police officer. And we sent a push alert as soon as we learned about the arrest. Make sure you download the KSBY mobile app so you can get breaking news alerts anytime, anywhere. It's free to download.